My name's Chris McCool. I'm the speaker for Aid for Crop. So Aid for Crop stands for Automation and Artificial Intelligence for um, monitoring and decision making within horticulture. It's really about being able to deploy automation and artificial intelligence to do sensing within horticultural environments. And that's really important for being able to do things like sustainable agriculture. Unfortunately, at the moment, uh, within horticulture, things like automation and artificial intelligence are deployed um, for monitoring purposes, but don't tie back together with decision management. And Aid for Crop really looks at the issue of what can we sense uh, to do crop monitoring through artificial intelligence and automation like robotics, and then what we should sense in terms of being able to do things like decision management and how that can influence how you manage the crop within a horticultural environment. So there are five projects within Aid for Crops, and it's really about deploying these systems on robots or autonomous systems within real-world environments, either in orchards or glasshouses. The first project, led by me, um, looks at exploiting the short-term spatial temporal information that we get through these robotic systems going through uh, the horticultural environment. The second project builds on this in terms of being able to get the medium-term information and exploiting the really rich structural information about repeated data acquisitions, and that's led by Cyril Stackness. The third project in there then looks at how do we do efficient sensing within the environment, and that's led by uh, Marin Banovitz. And this is really about um, how, do we need to actually sense all of the crop or are there certain parts that we need to spend more time sensing than others for particular crop monitoring purposes. Then all of that information is used uh, by Jürgen Gall in terms of being able to use that to then forecast what would happen if we took certain management decisions, certain tactical decisions in managing that particular crop and being able to forecast that in the future so we can understand the impact of those decisions. And all of this then sits within the fact that the models that we use and even the system that we have has uncertainty and this is a project led by Rabana Rocha in terms of how do we understand or estimate that uncertainty? But then how do we explain some of the results that we get from some of these AI methods so that can be used for things like decision management? The link between Aid for Crops and Fenerob, well, there's a strong overlap between the actual principal investigators within that. In fact, all the people within Aid for Crops are also within um, Fenerob. And it's really hard to see Aid for Crops existing without something like an ecosystem like Fenerob to bring people together to work on things within agriculture from really, really different um, backgrounds and experiences. But I mean, Aid for Crops is quite different to Fenerob. So Fenerob is primarily looking at things like arable farming and being able to deploy in those environments. Whereas Aid for Crops is very much concentrated on horticulture and this gives it a very different um, flavour in terms of what's going on and also changes some of the research questions fundamentally that it wants to explore within that research unit.